Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a bit of a special video because I will be unboxing three different packages, the first two of which will be a set of blind boxes sent over by Pop Mart, which is a pop culture and art toy company. Really excited to open these up as I've seen a lot of their products on social media, Instagram, you know, Twitter, etc. So both of those packages will be a set of blind boxes that I'm really excited to see what is in there. Oh, there's Snowflake. Hello, girl. <laughs> And I also have a, another box that I pre-ordered from Amiyami. So I think these are going to be my August pre-orders or maybe September, something like that. But I'm really excited to show you what I have in store for you today. Let's get unboxing. And starting with the first package, we have a very unique set of blind boxes called the Skull Panda Warmth series. Now, some of the previous Skull Panda designs were more on the darker theme, but these are very different. They're lighter, brighter, and yes, full of warm. So let's take a look at what the series looks like and open up some of these boxes. Now you can see the designs already on the side. They have very nice, beautiful pastel colors. The names of these like Taste for Memory and Counter, they evoke a beautiful sense of like relaxation and warmth. And opening up this box, wow, there are so many blind boxes, 12 in total. Let's get started. Here's the first one, box design, very clean, very beautiful. The texture of these boxes is also really nice if you pick them up. They are very soft and have a little bit of a um, sandy texture, but it's smooth at the same time. I don't know. You'll just have to experience it for yourself. So opening up this first box, everything comes in a protective plastic wrap. Oh, the first one, so beautiful. I love how glossy this figure looks, so cute. And the hat has a really beautiful basket weave like finish. Also comes with these beautiful little froggies. <laughs> All right, box number two. Let's see what's inside. Oh, oh, so precious. This looks adorable. She just looks so peaceful. And this one is actually called Mind with the Wind. So she's sitting, enjoying the breeze. Third box, we have Oh, a cutie on a bench. Now this one also came with a few extra pieces that you can um, equip with her to enjoy or complete the scene. So it's like a little dongo pop and a cup of what looks to be like funnel cake sticks or something. I don't know. Super cute. Here is box number four, a little boy enjoying I guess a bath, there's a towel on his head, sits in the bathtub and also has a little toy, or I guess that's his hat that's next to it because he took it off to take a bath. Makes sense. <laughs> oh my gosh, this one is my absolute favorite one so far. She is so cute, just holding a flower. It's called the scent, so she's just enjoying smelling these beautiful flowers. So sweet. Next we have all right, what is she holding? It it looks kind of looks. Oh, cats. Okay, that makes way more sense now. So she it's called the encounter, and she's feeding some cat treats to these adorable cats. So cute. Next, we have this really sweet girl enjoying her day off. Precious. And next, oh. I love these headphones. They are sculpted so nicely, painted really well. I wonder what he's listening to. Whatever it is, he's obviously having a great time and enjoying himself. <laughs> Next we have, oh, okay. What are they holding? Okay, doodling. Okay, so it's a pen. It looked a little sus at first, but it's a pen. It also comes with this little clipboard that you can attach. So, oh, they're drawing a little skull panda picture. How adorable. And of course, this figure is called Doodling. Moving on to, oh, is that a Shiba? Oh my gosh. This cutie is chilling, reading a book with this Shiba around the back of it. I hope it's not using it as like a pillow because that might be uncomfortable for the dog, but it's called Wandering. 
Next, we have this adorable figure of a girl with a bunch of birds and a small bird on the side called the chirping. Final box! Is that a raincoat? That must be a raincoat. So beautifully sculpted. Wow. I love the texture and the folds around it as well. It comes with a little umbrella and a base for him to stand on. Oh, so precious. So precious. What a beautiful final box. Now, these were super interesting to me because the figures are each made of this beautiful pseudo-ceramic material and it's easy to see from the figure designs that the overall concept is based around enjoying one's life and feeling the warmth around oneself. There's a lovely message of self-acceptance and just enjoying what you enjoy. So next we have package number two, also from Popmore. I'm really excited to see what's inside. It is a World of Warcraft blind box set, wow. I didn't even know WoW made little blind boxes like these, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what Pop Mart has in store for us. And just quickly scanning the outside of the box, you can see all of the potential designs you can get. I'm really excited to see maybe this Varian and also of course the secret figure. So let's open up this box. You can see inside there are six individual boxes neatly laid and let's start with this one. So just taking a look at the individual blind box design itself, it looks really nice and it's also really large. My typical blind boxes are about maybe a third of this size. So really excited to see what kind of figures come out of here. Oh. <laughs> So the tab didn't work for this one, unfortunately, but I used my scissors, which always comes in handy. Let's pull them out. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. No way. Okay, so I did not remember seeing this design on the side of the box, so I'm just quickly going to scan it. And when I realized... No way. <laughs> Illidan Storm Rage, the secret chaser figure of this set. Oh my gosh, I am beyond excited to have this. He looks so good. The colors look great. The painting is beautiful. The weapon's amazing. He looks so good. Easy to assemble as well, which is always something I enjoy. Almost dropped in there out of excitement. <laughs> Base looks really nice. And I wanted to do a quick 360 because wow, this figure for a blind box figure looks so good. It looks even better than some of the scales that I have. Well done, Pop Mart. All right, moving on to box number two. Let's open this one. So I had no trouble opening this one, so I could put away my scissors safely. <laughs> and this is Sylvanas. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her pose. I love her colors. I love the arrows on her back, her cloak, of course, as well with the hood. The bow looks amazingly detailed. The base is nice and purple and swirly, and she looks really adorable sitting in it amazing. So moving on to box number three. Let's take a look inside. This is oh, Jaina. So as a ex Hearthstone player, I fondly remember Jaina and these mage decks. So she holds a special place in my heart. This figure looks so elegant, so beautifully done. Again, the gold trim and everything is so neat. So very much in awe about that. The base is really nice. The scepter, of course, also looks great. She's very swirly, very blue, very magical. Love it. Moving on to the next box, we have... Drumroll. Ooh, Lich King. Oh my gosh. This armor, wow looks so good so much detail and it's actually pretty small so getting that much detail in something this size is impressive this sword the etchings i am blown away honestly this looks so good and on the base he looks really really cool he looks ready to command some armies i'm telling you <laughs> Let's take a quick 360 view because this is obviously made out of plastic, but the painting and the design of his armor makes it look like metal. I'm so in awe. 
Moving on to the final, next to final box. This is Thrall. Okay, so he's not one of my favorite characters, but I love his vibes. He is battle ready and his armor also looks great. This hammer is blowing my mind right now. It's so detailed. It looks amazing. The orange base is a nice pop of color and I think it complements the overall figure very, very well. And of course, we have reached the final box. Now, we've gotten everything except Kael'thas and Varian. So I know I mentioned I really wanted Varian, so we'll see what I get. <laughs> and it looks like, oh, we have Kael'thas. Okay, he's cool. He's cool. I love the green flames on his mantle. His robes look nice. There's lots of gems adorning it, which is a nice touch, of course. The base I also really enjoy because these purple crystals and the purple color look really, really good. Altogether, these set of six are amazing and I'm so excited to own them and can't wait to display them across my figure room. So if you're a blind box enthusiast like me, I would highly recommend checking out Popmar products through AliExpress like I'm doing right now. Check out their social media for new designs and announcements. They even have a special campaign going on from November 1st to the 12th called Fun Goes On where you can get various discounts and even some special gifts. And stay tuned throughout the rest of this year for even more promotions. Moving on to package number three. Now this package comes to us from Ami Ami. Let's open it up. Oh, this card design is so cute. I love the Halloween vibes. Opening up the inner package. Oh my gosh. I remember. Yes, I remember. So I have this cute spy family mirror. The tiny, very tiny, <laughs> Anya figure it seems. And a year camp scale figure. Now this box seems a little dent on its side, but that's all right. Let's take a closer look at Chiaki from Year of Cam. Now, if you've been watching any of my videos, you would know this is one of my favorite anime. It is so comfy, it is so happy, and I can't wait to open this up. So pulling out the blister packaging and opening it up. Oh my gosh, she looks spot on, like perfect. I love it so much. They really nailed her face, her expression, everything that she's holding, the fur. Doesn't really look like fur, but you know, that's a minor thing. It's hard to make fur look like fur when it's not fur. <laughs> also comes with this campfire. I think they call this like a Canadian candle in one of the episodes. And of course the base, very simple see-through base. Here she is. I just love the simplicity of these wing your camp figures. I have one other one that I unboxed a long time ago and this is going to be my second one. She looks so good. I love what they did with all these colors like her hair, her coat, the bright yellow sleeping bag looks so good. I love her thumbs up expression. The campfire of course is really cute and I like that it's not attached to the base so you can put it anywhere. The boots also look great. Overall just a solid thumbs up from me. <laughs> And here she is with my other one, Aoi. They look adorable together. Next, I have a small merch item. This is a pocket mirror or a purse mirror, I guess, of Spy Family. I needed one to carry around with me because I travel a lot and yeah, I can see myself so I know that it works. <laughs> Moving on to the final package of this video. Now this is the Anya Gem Series Spy Family figure. Now it's not obviously a scale figure or anything like that, but upon the first inspection, like I didn't think it was going to be this small. This is extremely small. <laughs> Pulling her out of the blister and plastic wrap. She looks really cute, like don't get me wrong adorable very adorable and i think they really got her expression right she's supposed to be palm size but she's a little bit smaller than my actual palm <laughs> also comes with this tiny accessory her little toy that is in the show well done also comes with this base which looks a little bit oversized for what the actual figure dimensions are <laughs> but setting her on top of this base, let's do a quick 360 view. 
For what it is, I really think they nailed the colors and her outfit. I think the paint job is not perfect, but it's very fine. <laughs> I think she's still precious and I'm really excited to display her in front of my computer just so that I can look at it every day and just be, you know, just be happy. Size-wise though, compared to a Nendoroid, it is very, very tiny. So watch out if you are planning to buy this figure. It's small. <laughs> Here is everything we unboxed today. What a journey. All right, that was a lot of boxes, maybe a record amount of boxes if you counted all the little boxes within the big boxes that I had to open up today. <laughs> so much fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to show you two of my favorites from the blind box unboxing. Of course, the Illidan figure that I never thought I was, like I've never gotten a chaser figure from a blind box set. So this was my first one and I was really pleasantly surprised that I got this. It looks amazing. And of course, this is my favorite from the Skull Panda set. This is called The Scent and this is just a cute girl holding a flower. So peaceful. I love it. Every time I see it, it makes me smile. So those two were my favorites from today. Of course, the tiny Anya is really cute, but it's so tiny. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching and thank you again, Popmart, for sending me these amazing figures to show everyone here today. I hope to see you guys next time for another unboxing. Have a good one.